humans apparently spend a third of their life sleeping. Seems like such a waste, right? So maybe a little sneaky nap is the way to go. Scientific research states that sleep is essential at any age, none more so than in babies, who need significantly more than adults for brain development and body growth. Sleep is almost like a reset or recharge switch which powers the mind and restores the body. Seven to nine hours is the recommended healthy dose of sleep per night for adults, but in babies it can be anywhere between 14 and 17 hours. A nap, though, is a short period of sleep, usually between 20 minutes and one hour. Anything more can generally interfere with your nighttime sleep routine. In small children, a nap of around two to three hours per day is often quite normal, and this will become less and less as they grow and develop. Studies show that napping mid-afternoon is a great way to boost your memory, lift your mood, enhance your work performance, and ease stress. It is recommended, though, that naps be taken before 3 p.m. Anything later will also upset your evening sleep pattern. Of course, napping is not that easy for everyone. Office and factory workers cannot simply desert their jobs for a bit of shut-eye. In fact, statistics show that the average number of naps taken per month across all countries is only two. Life is just so busy nowadays that it is getting harder and harder to find the time to rest. Even the Spanish, who have long been known for their afternoon siestas, are unable to enjoy this tradition nowadays. Believed to have become a culture during the early 1900s, when most Spanish worked two jobs, one in the morning and one in the evening, and so took a rest during the day to recharge their batteries. Siestas were most common. However, it is reported that around 60% of Spaniards never take a nap anymore and are, in fact, one of the hardest-working populations in Europe. It is New Zealanders who get the most sleep per night with an average of 7.5 hours and Japan and South Korea who suffer the most restless nights with just over six hours. This problem is well documented with both countries' intense work and study culture being the main cause. In Japan, they have even coined a term for their napping practice of grabbing a minute or two of sleep wherever and whenever they can. In Imuri. It is quite common to see Japanese sleeping on the train, often will standing, in the park, or even at their desks. Rather than a sign of laziness or boredom, Inimuri is associated with hard work and is, therefore, more socially acceptable. The bottom line with sleep is that you really need to listen to your body. If you are feeling more tired or stressed than usual, maybe a nap is the answer and will in turn help you sleep better at night.